Welcome to C++ programming. Today we're going to look at functions and specifically a new type of function in C++ called an inline function. Now an inline function and a normal function is more or less the same thing. It looks the same, but how they work inside um, the, the program, how they are compiled is very different. So let's jump into the, to the coding and I will explain as we go along. So we will open code blocks, we will create a new empty file, we will save this file as inline function dot cpp and we will start off with our hash include statement io stream io stream and we start with our main function return zero we will save this and build and run just to check that the program successfully compiled and it was able to run as you can see the command prompt is there and the program executed successfully so a inline function we're going to write a normal function for now and we will start with a function that we will call let's say int cube and int cube will receive a parameter n and this is now our function prototype inside our um, main function we will ask the user to input a number we will use cin to get the input from the user and we need to store that input as a, into a variable and we will call that variable input and then we will call the cube function so we will say the cube of input is and what we can do is we will call the cube function and we will give the input as a parameter and we can say in line okay so now this is our input we ask the user for input we get the input from the user and we display the answer with our function call as well cube input and we will now go and write this function so we will say int cube int n and we will go and say return n times n that is the square and the cube will then be times n again and that is how we do our cube function if we build and run this oops there's a small little error oh, I used C out throughout and I didn't say that extra line as using name space std we need to include that to use this shorter hand abbreviation of C out and not std double point double point C out the whole time so if we build and run now hopefully there's no errors correct so there is our program we're going to input 5 and the cube of 5 is 125 so 5 times 5 gives us 25 25 times 5 gives us 125 okay we can make this a little bit nicer just to add extra space there and we can add double point there now if 
If you look at this program, let me zoom out a little bit. If you look at this program, this function is actually very, very small. And to go and call this function every time we want to do a calculation to get the cube of a input, we need to do a function call. So at this point here, we do a actual function call to this function this function runs and then it returns back to this part here where we call the function and then we display it. But a function call is not very memory efficient if we have only a very small function. It would have been much better to say something like this, input times input times input. This would be very um, or much more quicker to compile and to run than calling a function. So in C++ programming they said for smaller functions the programmer is allowed to create inline functions. Now what an inline function would do is it's not going to um, do a function call to this function. What it will actually do is it will copy this function to this point in there in order for the program to compile or run, sorry, run much faster. So there will be no function call. It will be a copy of this code in this point there. You won't see the copy, but the compiler will do that for us. And that will be much better, much quicker, and the program will run much smoother, especially if this becomes a very big program. So how do we do an inline function? And it's actually quite simple. We just say inline in front of the function. And we also just need to do it at our function prototype as well. So we just say inline in Q is in. So the compiler will know this is an inline function and I need to copy this code into this function call there so that there is no function call actually. Great, so if we build and run this program now, you won't see the difference in speed because this computer is already very fast, but in bigger programs you will see a difference. So inline functions are used especially for functions that are very small and it's much more time consuming to do a function call and then stuff like the function call stack will come into play and everything so it's not very efficient to do a function call for a small function so we can rather do a inline function and a copy of this function will be in the function call. So if we build and run this program, just to show that everything will still work the same, the cube of 5 is 1, 2, 5. Great. So that's inline functions. Please use them whenever you have a very small function to make your program much more efficient and faster. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.